Electoral Commission voters register. We are stakeholders in this business. And we have a duty to perform, and likewise they have a duty to perform, to give us a credible register. That is all that we are calling for. I can show you evidence of one page. You have one single person duplicating more than four times in a page. And we are simply requesting for an audit. Jean Mesa is not using her family property to do the audit. It's with the taxpayers' money. It is our money. And we are requesting for free, fair, transparent elections. I am saying this. Elections are being reached through a process. It is not only the voting day that elections are being reached. And these are the processes for reading the elections. We are all witnesses to the 2024 ele 2020 elections. What really happened? The Mesa declared subsequently about six different results simply because she was not on top of issues. Now, we will not wait. We are not going to court. We have just presented a petition. We'll have to take that up. And I'm sure they have written to the EC. And they would have made several attempts to have a, a, tete -a, -tete, a meeting with them to draw their attention to the need to do this exercise. And it's simple. We are saying that just clean up. Clean up, take care of the concerns of all political parties so that we can have a peaceful election. That is simply what we are looking for. And, and everybody should be concerned. The Adamans and the, and the, the intransigence of the EC speaks for them. And all of us should be worried about that. All of us should be worried about that. We want to protect our democracy. But we should be rest assured that we will do whatever it is to press on them to do the right thing so that we can have a peaceful election. As far as my party is concerned, we are committed to a peaceful, to the, to the, to the peaceful election. Whatever we need to do to ensure that uh, this election is peaceful, we will do. But we will not sit down to allow anybody to take us for a ride. to preserve the integrity of Ghana's democracy, a democratic process, and ensure the stability and security of the nation. The irregularities in the Provisional Voters Register are not minor oversights or clerical errors. It is a deliberate manipulation of the voter database. This raises concerns regarding the potential for election fraud. Failure to address these significant issues promptly will put Ghana's democracy, democratic reputation, and national stability at risk.